if you want to know how to be a vlogger or how to be good at vlogging or just be curious about vlogging here are some things that i learned as being a vlogger so you want to be a vlogger right or you just want to be curious about vlogging or you just want to be refreshed or get some inspiration for being a vlogger or well, already is here's some tips and here's some things that i know and learned to be a vlogger stay tuned what is up you guys my name is kyla joe and you should already know but you may be new or not hey joe i wanted to talk to you about how to really be a good vlogger or really understand how you can be good at it you may be new to vlogging or you may be a og how vlogging is and you're you're kind of wondering about it questioning about it like hmm should i try this thing out so yeah we're gonna get right into it and if you like this type of video before we get into today's video as you can see right here support black women <laughs> Look, you looking at one right now. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Go ahead, okay? Go ahead and subscribe. If you like what you saw by the end of this video, because I'm pretty sure you're going to like it, and make sure you turn on post notifications and thumbs up this video too, because you're going to, I'm telling you, by the stuff I'm giving you is right here, and this right here, I'm telling you, you're going to like. You're going to like what I gave you by the end of this video, guarantee. So go ahead and get your notes, get your iPad out, get all that stuff out, your phone notes. Uh huh. Make sure you pay attention, because I'm telling y'all right here, the stuff I got in my notes, don't nobody got this. I'm giving it to you raw. I'm giving it to you real. But what I experienced and what I know, so number one, you gotta pick up that camera or phone at some point and start recording. You gotta pick it up. I know we be so quick to be seeing what other people are doing and what, what they're recording and what they're vlogging about. And we get so caught up in like, well, you know, this person is recording this and they seem like they have a cool life. You know what I'm saying? Like a busy life or we outside. All that type of stuff you may see somebody that you admire or you know you may watch on here on this you know on YouTube and you can get so caught up in that hi I also wanted to pitch in this too think about this your favorite youtuber ask yourself do y'all have the same laughs think about that just think about it and if the question is no then Remind yourself that comparing yourself to others is not even realistic because y'all don't even live in the same, y'all don't even live the same lives. Y'all on two different paths. So the more you realize that I'm in my path and they in their path, I admire their path. I love what they, you know, record what they show. But at the same time, someone will appreciate my path and my journey and my life. So let me just go ahead and vlog it regardless of what, even this person that I look up to watch does. But at some point, <laughs> you have to pick up the camera. You gotta pick it up because you cannot be in your head so much about it to the point that you just you just back out. You know, you don't, you know, I don't know about this because like, cause you know, I see everybody else doing it. Look, if I can go back in time and just tell myself, look, start recording. It does not matter if you record yourself walking to the walking to the bank, walking to the grocery store, or walking to pick up your clothes or something. Something. Anything <laughs> at this point. You have to start recording. There's somebody out there. Look, imagine this Joe. And I'm talking to you and I'm being for real. There is about eight billion people out here that's walking around and that's on this YouTube app. You know what I'm saying? And there are people out there that are literally curious as to watching your life. And there is somebody out there that could relate to you by the things that you do. Do you, do you know that? Like really think. There are so many people out here. We are out here for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we may not be for everybody. We are for somebody out there. We are for somebody. And for that somebody, that is just enough. At least by one person. If we got one person hooked on us, then that is all we need. We don't need, you know what I'm saying? We don't need no fakes, no pretending viewers. We want authenticity. We want real organic people. 
And if you can, and you can have somebody that loves your channel or watches your channel, watches your content, that's all you need. Because guess what? There's going to be somebody else that's doing the same thing for you. There's going to be somebody else that loves your content. It does not matter if you got 95 and you, you know, you're not sure if they're not going to be interested in that or any little thing that you, that, that you do, even if it's boring, still put it up. Don't care. There has been plenty of times when I think things was boring, but people loved it. I go back on it, and sometimes I even surprise me half the time. I'm like, I thought this was boring. Shoot, this was <laughs> this was good content. Like, surprise my own self. So whatever you think is boring right there at the moment, I'm telling you, somebody gonna find it interesting. I'm telling you, you may cut that thing out, put that thing in, put that clip back in. Nope, mm -mm. for anybody that needs to hear that because so I don't want to hear. Nah, 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 I don't want to hear that. Pick that camera up. So, number two, personality helps. Is real. This is really important. You gotta have personality. You have to have personality. And meaning by that, of course, authenticity. Who are you? What are you about? What is your traits? So, like for me, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm Kyle Joe. I'm the brand. I'm the face. This is what you see. My personality is dramatic. I can be sweet. I'm funny. I'm positive. I can be crazy. I can be emotional. I can be chill. I can be goofy. I can be spiritual. I can be fun. That is me to the core. That is who I am. When you hang out with me, when you see me in real life, this is who you meet. Who you see on here is how I am in real life. So who are you? What are you about? Sometimes you may need to ask people, but of course, you know yourself down to the core, but sometimes some people may give you things about yourself that you may not even notice about yourself. Like, oh, I am like that, you know? You know, ask your friends, ask your family members. Like, when you when you hang out with me or like, how am I? You know what I'm saying? Like, am I cool? Am I, you know, am I funny, chill, quiet, reserved, you know? What type of vibe did I bring? So then you can kind of collect yourself together, put it down, write it down, and figure out what is my personality. And once you figure that out, put that on camera. That's all you gotta do. Literally, don't make nothing up, no. Nope. Who are you to the core? We're not pretending. This is a, once you pretend, I'm telling you, if you pretend on this app, I'm telling you now, people are going to, you are going to burn out, and people are gonna see, see right through you. Me, I'm dramatic. I could be very dramatic at times. I could be funny at times. I could be very chill. I could be very energetic. My emotions go up and down, very emotional. It's good and bad, you know what I'm saying? But that's who I am as a person. That's how I am. This is what you see on, on this channel. Number three, talk to the camera like it's a person. I think sometimes we get so caught up in like, oh my God, I'm talking to a camera. I don't know what to say. Um, uh, uh, and really just act like you're not talking to a camera. Really act like it's a person in front of you. How do you talk to when you with your homegirls? How do you talk to when you, when you with your homeboys? How do you talk to when you with your family? Talk just like that, but just act like it's a person. You holding your camera right here. If anybody's wondering what camera I have, this is the Canon M M50 um, Mark II. If anybody's wondering, really simply act like this is a human being. Because guess what? Guess who's watching? A human being is watching you on your channel. So you have to really act like that. This is a this is a human right here you're talking to. This ain't some robot. This ain't no. This is an actual human being. This is how you'll talk to thousands upon thousands upon millions of people through this lens. So you have to really act like that. This is your friend. This is your best friend. This is your boyfriend. This is your girlfriend. This is your everything right here. Because this will get you further when you talk to them naturally of, you know, being yourself than someone that is like, you know, you know, I'm just talking to you because this is a camera right here and I'm going to talk to you like it's just a camera right here and I don't know what to say. I'm real uncomfortable. Um, uh, so I'm gonna, t you know, talk to you guys later. I'll hit, hit up with y'all later. No, <laughs> talk to them like there's no one around, and it's just you and this and your friend right here. That's why I call y'all Joe, because you're an actual human being, 
and actually once i felt comfortable because i feel like joe is a person it's not like a group you know what i'm saying you know there are people out there no not throwing shade but there are people out there that call their audience a group name and that's cool and all but i feel like it's real more personal if you call them something that is a, like a single name you call when you call somebody's name it's just a single name it's not like a a group geek squad like who are you talking to you know what i'm saying like when you say geek squad like who is geek squad like who's the gang you know what i'm saying like gang gang hey gang like who's who you call a gang when you say hey joe joe let me tell you something look this will happen to jay this will happen today joe man joe i don't know man that's just but Joe, we did it today, Joe. Look, we reached to this and this amount of subscribers. Subscribe, high five, Joe. That's when you feel real natural with it. That's when you feel like, okay, I'm talking to a human being. This feels more comfortable. But everybody got their own team. But you can still do it with a group name. There's, there's no knocking it. But I feel, me personally, I feel comfortable calling my, my people on this that watch me a single name. Next thing. If you guys did not know this. But now you know, there are actually three types, three to four types of vlogging out here on this YouTube app. Some people may not know this, but are, there are three types of ways of you making your, you know, your vlogging channel or which route you want to take as far as vlogging. And people, I'm just surprised that people did not pick up on this i'm not i have not seen that one video on how to vlog of like different types of vlogging number one situational vlogging mean by that there has to be something that happens while you vlogging so it could be like a catalyst let's say for example you go out your, you know you out with your friends y'all at um let's say for example y'all at a restaurant you vlog and whatnot right let's say things went left at the dinner at the dinner you can say for the title, I went out with my friends and things went left at the dinner. Meaning by that, that's very situational. You're put in a situation that went left. You thought that you were going to go out with your friends, y'all can go out to dinner, kumbaya, but things really went left. You know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be like a drama, it could be comedy, or it could be, or it could be a reality show, which is kind of like drama feel. But situational type of vloggers i'm gonna give y'all like examples of situational vloggers i see a lot it don't have to be like drama feel or good or it don't have to be bad situational vlogging it could be good like i got surprised with this you know i got surprised with my birthday i wasn't expecting this you know like it don't have to be so you know negative caitlin ray okay she has a lot of situational vlogs. Prime example, we stayed at a haunted TP motel and went to a rave. Two, my bizarre date with a F boy and disaster trip to Key West. That is what we call a situational vlog. You're put in a situation and it's like, how do we get here to the situation right here? Um, let's pick some out, girls. What are we gonna get on here? I really, I really like, like the situation. Like, I love the situation. Look, 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 look. I love this situation. Yes, I like that. It's always something is happening in your vlog. I took a Hollywood bus tour and met a celeb. That was situational. At first, I was not expecting to meet a celebrity, but I took a Hollywood bus tour and I ended up meeting a celeb. That is situational. That is the catalyst. Uh, I'm going to show you another person. Um, Daily Avery. He do a lot of situational stuff. For example, like he just um, posted yesterday. Prime example. I ruined her birthday. Everything was going good until he has ruined her birthday. Or, for example, I surprised Surreal with the Hollywood movie night. She didn't know that he was going to surprise her with a Halloween movie night. We're going to go on to the next type of vlogging your daily life basically lifestyle content now you may know this one because it's very popular a lot of people it's, it's been out there for, for a while so meaning by this this can be a productive day in the life weekly vlogs a reset day basically real lifestyle like this is your life 
and we're gonna go about how your life is so basically i don't really need to show y'all on that that's basically like real like daily life real like it's real simple that's that's a route you can take on that next we have is travel there's a lot of travel vloggers out there that travel a lot if you're the type of person that likes to travel and travel a lot don't matter if you you don't even have to like go out of state to say that you're a travel vlog you can literally go down the street so now you can literally go out of your city and you can still be a travel vlogger if you're steady on the go people love seeing that you're, if you're traveling, going to this state, you're going to that state, you're going to that city, you're trying this new city out. If you steady being outside, people love seeing that. Definitely where it's at. I actually enjoy vlogging while I travel. People what would love to see where you're at. They would love to be in your shoes to travel. Some people may not have even been to where you're going. You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of the things that you're you know seeing or being at like even if it's something that you may not think like oh, i don't know they might not mess with this because this is in such and such or this is in a small little town country town you never know some people may be visiting that town you know and they may be like oh let me type up such such town you know so just be mindful of the things or what place that you're going and be mindful like hmm i should vlog this experience even though you may not care for it someone may do someone may do now sometimes it's not always about you and how you feel about things sometimes it's 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 what's best for the viewer okay this is what they like let me try this one out let me go let me go to this city right here since they since they mess with that city oh let's try the foods out here like you know there's different type of traveling vlogs you can get into like the food when you go to this place to miami like what's the best restaurants in miami that's traveling you know what's the best hotels okay in miami i stayed in this five thousand uh, dollar you know hotel experience giving you the full experience of just like traveling so next we have is cinematic vlogs a lot of people has been trending lately of cinematic vlogs so if i were you i will you know anybody out there that loves a little bit of creativity and likes to really step out their comfort zone it's like to try different shots different angles now i have tried cinematic vlogs and it did it did well i did a shot of me in bed and i think that's what really helped my vlog out i think that shot right there really it really gave emotion i think now i'm noticing cinematic really gives some type of emotion it it brings the audience in because it kind of reminds them like oh this is a movie oh this is a you know what i'm saying like this is serious it does it's, it's low-key where it's at there are some people may not want to do constant shots shots or they they don't know how to film film the like cinematic shots by themselves may not have nobody to you know help them film it which i understand but you know if you want that shot baby we're gonna get that shot that shot of me in bed now i thought before of me thinking of that shot i thought i would have to have somebody literally get on top of me of me like lay on that bed guess what i did i used a tripod and i literally let that thing down and let it flat on me. And that's how I made that shot. So sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to always have everybody with you. You know? So, and then also another thing. Some people may not see that vision. Honestly, that shot was inspired by Atlanta. Sometimes when Atlanta, when Donald Glover do like these shots when he in the bed with his um, girlfriend at the time, his baby mama, and how he has it like, I don't know, I just like that type of shot. I just love that type of shot. I just love it. I don't know why. I just do. I just love that type of shot. I just, I like when it's up. If you're looking for some like cinematic vloggers out there, just figure out how you want to go about this. Uh, shout out to, um, yes, I love Mari. Shout out to him because... He doing it big. I didn't see this man literally start from like maybe about three thousand, maybe to three to ten thousand subscribers, and I have literally seen him went from little like small YouTuber to like now like he up there, he up there, and it's just amazing. Ain't that cool to see? 
as a subscriber to watch your to watch the person that you watch go from this to like all the way up there and i hope that i'm like that for you guys out there because it's any moment any day now i'm very excited for myself but i hate to make this about me but i'm just saying like ain't that kind of cool though to see somebody you watch go from like a small youtuber into like this like big like oh my god i used to watch you like i i feel like low-key like i feel good when i say that to people like if i ever meet somebody that i watch i don't mind saying that because guess what because you was there all along you was in the trenches with me okay you was an og you's an og i'll tell you for any of my og joes out there where you at <laughs> where you at i i mess with the ogs i love the ogs okay because they know how i was i started with 50 000, 50 oh not me saying fifty thousand. <laughs> but uh when i started from zero having nothing to now like boom wow so it's like which route do you want to take do you want to take the situational type of route or do you want to take a um a daily life type of route or do you want to take the traveling type of route you know it does not matter but for me i do it all i i, I grab all of it together because it's just that's just me though that's just my brand because guess what my personality fits situational stuff because i can be i sometimes i can get to some stuff i'm like how did this happen you know but it's based on my personality though if that makes sense if so which route do you want to take or do you want to take all of it it's up to you but don't pretend to do something that just just don't pretend don't fake it don't fake the funk don't script it. Now, there are people that do script uh, um, a lot. Of, I mean, y'all know. Reality shows, love and hip-hop. Hit the bus your bubble. But, um, <laughs> you know, your favorite reality shows, like, there are, majority of it is really scripted. So, they do a lot of situational stuff. Next thing, like, basically, the next thing I want to say is start off how you want to finish it. If you want your vlogs to be only about you, then make it be that. I have seen a lot of people, and I'm not throwing no shade. But I have seen a lot of people who saturate a lot of people, friends, around their vlogs. Constantly. You know, never see them, you know, by themselves when it comes to vlogs. But when you start to saturate yourself with a lot of people, a lot of people and a lot of people, you're, you're always outside, you always with some people. It's like, the, it's like your friends is taking, it's kind of like the stars of your, you know, of your vlogging, you know what I'm saying, or your video, like, they just, you know, of course, you're recording it, you know what I'm saying, you're a part of it, but, you know, you got your friends, you know, talking to the camera, you got your friends doing this, you got your friends doing that, just be mindful of the fact that if you constantly keep doing that, then there's going to be a point in time where you may feel like, well, you know, you know, things may happen, you can stop being friends with somebody, things can fall off. Or you may just simply just be like, you know what, I'm not going to, I want people to get to know me. Or am I interested enough because I don't have this person in my blog anymore. So am I interested enough? Why do I have so low views when I start recording? When I, when I post vlogs of me, why do I have low views? But then when I'm out and about with my friends and all that, I get so much views. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, find a balance. In, in that because people get, can get you can get so caught up in like oh my god the views and the money coming in oh I'm, I'm collabing with this person I'm hanging out with this person and you know we're doing good everything's d doing great and then until you stop hanging out with the person or you just simply just want to like you want people to get to know you only for you the views are gonna go low you know because people don't have interest in getting to know you. They have interest of you being outside with folks and friends and all that. But when you, there's going to be a point in time when them friends going to go. Friends come and go, man. Friends going to come and go. You know, and the real ones going to stay, of course. But friends can come and go. There will be a point in time where you're like, okay. And you start hang, hanging out with yourself. Dealing with yourself. You know, being alone. People going to be asking, what happened to such and such? Why is such such not in the vlog? Or they must have, they not friends anymore. Or something that happened and then you, your views may get low. Because you're not hanging out with that person no more. Or, you know, relationships can play a factor into it too. You know, you might have moved on from the relationship. They already asking about, they still asking. <laughs> they still asking about the person that you was with. Like literally like years ago. 
And it's like, can we get over that now? Like, yes. You didn't put that, you broadcasted that out there to the internet. So it's like what you expect. But at the same time, learn to have, have a balance to, to let your audience know like, yes. Yes, I get it. Y'all love this person. Y'all love when I hang out with such such. But don't forget, I'm the star of the show, okay? Start on how you want to finish this, okay? Because you don't want to fall out of love with YouTube. Next, we have planning out your blogs. Meaning by that, make sure you plan them out, basically. Just like plan out your content. Because there has been moments where I really like wing it in the content. And sometimes, like, when you edit it all together, it don't really make sense. It's not cohesive. It's not really, like, flowing easily. So sometimes I would have to do a lot of, like, voiceover. So I have to put a lot of titles in the thing. Like, well, this happened instead. And, like, you know, it's just make sure you plan out your content and, like, figure out, like, what you're going to do on this day. Like, if it's, like, definitely if it's, like, a lifestyle type of content blog, you know, make sure you do, like, okay, we're going to go to a uh, candle class. After that, we're gonna go shopping. After that, we're gonna do this. Like basically like doing like things, activities. Basically like planning out your activities. Last but not least, show instead of talking. Basically, actions speak louder than words. Yes, you might have been invited to the uh, Boohoo event, but I wanna see it. Show me better than you can tell me. See if you really about that. See if you really about action. See if you really that YouTuber, that, that vlogger that be showing people that you be out here and you be living your best life and you that girl and you that boy. You know what I'm saying? So really just show instead of just talking and just telling and all that. And make sure you really show people. Because some people, I I had to really learn and unlearn this to show people instead of just telling them like, Let me guys, hi you guys, I just left from such and such. I'm sorry I didn't record, but you know, it's like, it's kind of like wasting, it's kind of like wasting a clip. Because it's like, you're not really... Showing them and just telling them like, you know, you kind of just like telling them like, you know, I didn't went to this event and yeah, it sucks that I didn't show y'all, but I'm just going to tell y'all. But it's like, it's not fair to the viewer that, you know, you're going to tell them that you met this person, but you ain't going to show that you met this person. That's like me saying, hey y'all, I just met Beyonce. Y'all going to be like, I want to see you meet Beyonce. Okay, where the clip at? You know what I'm saying? Like, where the clip at? Show the clip of you meeting Beyonce. That is it for today's vlog. Mm, not me saying that's it for today's vlog. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you really got what you needed in this video. Because I wish I would have seen somebody that is like me. Telling y'all when I first started out. Because if I would have known this baby. <laughs> for sure would have definitely been soaring and been definitely knowing of like okay this is what i want this is what my brain's about this is what it is and this is what we're going to do and we're going to be about it i'll see you guys later i better see y'all vloggers in 2024 i better see y'all on tiktok or something i love y'all so so much i really do see you guys later Mwah.